<laughs> On this episode of Torquing TV, we'll take a look at the tractor joint axle shaft. The tractor universal joint was very popular in the heavier uh, Dana 70 applications in the first part of the 20th century. I'll give you a little bit of a exploded view here. It was a two-piece joint. And this part went back and forth like that. And then the shaft rode in here and went back and forth like that. And it gives you the same motion as a modern U-joint. However, it was a very weak system. For the trucks of the day, um, yeah, they were Dana 70 front axles. You know, Dana 70 is pretty heavy, but the trucks only made 150 to 200 horsepower max. Um, they were pretty good for that. Uh, you get anything more than that, and they lose, I don't know if you can really get an exploded view here, they lose surface area when you're turn, especially when you're turning, and then they're extremely prone to breakage. Parts for these are almost not available. We've had a few complete shafts go through, brand new, uh, a couple used ones, and also some new uh, tractor joints themselves. They didn't last very long. Um, the next option, if you break one of those, is go with a chromoly setup. These are engineered to have the pivot point in the location it needs to be in. Um, machine spot for the bushings, a premium cold forge non-greasable U-joint without seals uh, so the grease from inside your closed knuckle can lubricate the rollers just as it would have lubricated the tractor joint or what's left of it. Splines cut to match on each end as well as the sealing surface. Now on these shafts, they're machined a little bit different. The closed knuckle is round and if it was machined to exact specifications as the old shaft, you would run into issues with the yoke rubbing on the inside of your uh, knuckle ball. Whereas the old uh, shafts were round so they would not rub. These are machined a little bit farther towards the U-joint and you just space it out a little bit with the bushing to limit some of your side-to-side -side motion. You won't have too much anyway because your uh, inner part of the axle shaft will hit your differential cross pin and it won't go in too far. But uh, if you have excessive space and you feel that you need to shim it up a little bit, you can get a plastic shim from a, a modern application and bore the hole a little bit bigger to fit over the shaft and that'll make up the difference. So if you have a Dana 70 and your two piece tractor joint has become 12 pieces, don't throw it away. Go ahead and order up a new, new shaft, it'll get you back on the road. You'll have a lot less issues with one of these. You can put a lot, of, a lot more horsepower to these than you can this. We'll keep this video short and sweet. If you have any questions on the tractor joint or the new replacement, give us a call, go online. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Torque King TV.